what's going on guys welcome to the video we got a different one for you today all right so we got another bright idea okay so i've got this gift card to walmart i've had it since christmas what else am i going to use it on in fishing stuff or hunting stuff you know what i'm saying we're not in hunting season other than we can hunt some hogs but we're not hunting hogs you know what we're going to do today is we're going to go to walmart and see if we can't pick up some gar fishing stuff and see if we can't catch some gar at night you know I don't know if it's going to be easy. don't know if it's going to be hard. I've been to this place before, caught girl on accident. So maybe if we go for them, we might catch them, you know? Never know. Do you try? So we're going to go to Walmart right now. We got a buddy that's going to film for us over there. We're waiting for him to take a shower. And we're going to see if we can't pick us up some stuff. So we'll catch y'all when we get to Walmart. All right, so we're at Walmart, y'all. And uh, we're here. We're going to get some stuff, you know? Um, and I, I think because they have like shark teeth or whatever. Something like this or something. We gotta find something. This is the section we need though, right here. I made this like from there to there. We gotta find some kit or something. We'll take a look at these kits down here, probably. Yeah, you're filming that. Okay, so this is honestly got probably everything we need in it, not even gonna lie. Oh. We are fishing at night, and yeah, I know they have these. These little like glow in the dark bobbers, and they like uh, light up or something. So we're going, we're going to probably get these two, and we're still under the twenty-five dollars. So these have freaking batteries in them. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's so cool. Guys, look how much like night, night water fishing or not fishing stuff they have. I mean they got like all the way down there. Wherever it is it's wherever it is. Yeah, it's like sand and Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is what I think we're gonna get. So yeah. Alright. What's going on guys so we made it here to the creek as you can see brain's got his pole set up look in the water down there guys i don't know if i can see it we got a bobber down there that's glowing in the dark i don't know if y'all can see that but we're in like actually on a bridge right now so like we could get ran over by a car any minute but now we're just gonna wait for that so we can't catch any gars it took us probably what say five minutes mm -hmm. five ten minutes to get it set up it's pretty easy i don't know if y'all can hear me real well the frogs are going at it but we'll catch y'all back when we get a fish or a bite or something. All right, guys, so we're back, and I'm behind the camera now. We had to take our buddy home. But let me know if y'all like the last, I mean, the first part of the video, like from here back. I mean, we'll get him out here to film, I mean, film some more with us. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I watched the footage back, and I liked it. Pretty, I mean, he was good. I mean, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Um, I don't know if Craig has a hand around a hammer for me, but uh, it makes it a whole lot easier to get two people on there because sometimes if y'all notice it's actually almost every time one of us talks and the other one sits there either film or something uh, cause, like I mean, now yeah because it's kind of hard to there we go y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you i'm gonna cut brandon off real quick guys i'm excited about this we are rigged for night fishing so if y'all want to see more videos like this just let us know maybe we'll do a night fishing catch and cook for y'all one time i mean y'all seem to love catching cooks so just i mean let us know in the comments down below guys but I mean, look at that guy. That's cool. And I mean, you can see Brandon fine. Oh yeah. Like yeah, we're I mean, that's the thing. But it, not gonna lie, whenever I'm looking directly at that camera, it's very bright. Yeah, try. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. I mean. But I mean, it's doable, you know. And I enjoy night fishing. Night fishing is so much fun because it's, you know, it's a, uh, it's a lot cooler than it's not like 98 degrees or whatever. What is it, 75 out here yeah, right it's now? Yeah, like 75. I mean, it's just perfect. And. uh you know, we might not even catch a fish, but you know what? It's all about coming here to have fun, you know? And that's one thing that we show a lot. I will go ahead and tell you all this right now. This is my first time night fishing. This is a learning experience, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to like know what you're doing. Yeah, I've only done this a couple times, but I was with people that knew what they were doing. So, you know, in, in that case, that's why we went and we bought that. That's the whole reason why we went to, uh, I thought it was moving. Anyway, that's the whole reason why we went to, walmart because we had to get stuff you know because we didn't have anything and so what we're going to do now is we've got one out we're going to cast another one uh, a little bit more to the left of that one yeah um and just because we bought two of those bobbers you know one for trace one for me 
Um, but it doesn't really matter. If we hook up with a fish, like right over here, say we hook up with one, um, what we're gonna do at that point is whoever can get to it, basically. You know, it doesn't really matter to me who catches it as long as we get one, you know. That's true, but, guys. Like I said, we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna rig up a little bit, and then uh, we'll catch y'all when we're done and cast them. All right, guys, so we're rigging up right here, guys, and I'm just here to tell y'all this. Brandon, just give them a word description. Horrible. It <laughs> smells absolutely terrible. I mean, I, I, I look, I don't even want to touch it. Like, I started gagging when I saw this, guys. Like, legit, like, I almost threw up, which I almost throw up at about anything, which y'all probably know that by now. I mean, y'all go watch the squirrel video, squirrel catching and cook. I mean, that was, you know, that was rough, guys, but you know. So, we got a red bobber out, and now we're gonna have this yellow bobber out, and this is our only other pole we got, so maybe we'll catch something. The other one's over there somewhere, guys. But we're gonna get this rigged up and let y'all know we're Golly. throwing it out. Rough, Ooh. Brandon. This smells bad, guys. That, I mean. that was the shake. <laughs> that was that was the it smells awful shake. Y'all see that? Man. Y'all, I, I, I'm not joking. You know, some people in their videos say, oh, this is terrible. No, y'all, this is, this is bad. Like, and I've got a strong stomach when it comes to this stuff. Baby shad, Rut's baby shad. Y'all have got the money with it with it smelling bad. If that's what you're going for, there you go, guys. Read all that stuff. I mean, that's what it's good for. And we're trying to catch that one right there. But guys, look at that. Ugh, ugh. Man, think about putting one of those in your mouth. That is. Don't even say that. Oh, oh. Y'all get us a thousand views on this video, and I'll make Brandon eat one of those. Uh. It's the other way around. You get a th we get a thousand views. I'm pretty sure y'all want to see Brandon eat it more than me. I mean, I can eat anything, guys. So, you know. But oh, holy, oh man! All right, guys, we'll catch on. We're throwing this bad boy in the water. All right, guys. So we are actually about to put this other one out. And right before you throw it, Brandon, hold on one second. I want to show them what we got rigged up here. What Brandon rigged up here. So you got your bobber. And you got one, two, three. And then the saltwater hook, you said, is a salt like a weight. This is kind of like a little saltwater rig to catch some bait fish. And I mean, maybe it'll work, but I don't know if this weight is too big. So I might have to cut it off and put a different weight on there. But you know, we'll cross that bridge if we have to. Yeah, I get it. We'll cross that bridge. <laughs> no pun intended. Let's see if we can see it. It's oh. floating. Oh yeah, we in business, y'all. Look at that, guys. That is too. Dude, this is cool. I'm just saying, I don't know if y'all find this cool, but I'm freaking out over here. I love this. This just looks awesome. And what, what we're looking for too is whenever I've, I've caught guard during the day. Um, and I know they have those, those long, narrow, whew, those long, narrow, you know, mouths. And uh, what you're looking for at this point is for, let's say, whichever one you want to pick. Pick the red um, one. We can see it better. All right, so the red one. Say it starts going to the left, um, and it's just going to start running. What you want to do? You want to open your bail and just give it all the line it wants. It's just going to run off with it. And what it's going to do is going to take it under a tree or just somewhere that it feels safe, and just going to start chomping and eating it. And the hook's going to go down in it. Um, and these are rust away hooks, so they are, you know, obviously going to rust away, like it says. So these fish are going to be fine with that hook inside of them. Um, anyway. So like I said, they're gonna run either one or two directions. Uh, hopefully we'll catch one in a little bit, but that's what we're looking for, is for it to just run one way or another. But, so guys, that's the expert here. I'm, I'm just filming now. Our filmer's gone. But anyways, guys, so we got this video coming out. 24 but, hour, um, 24 hour camping challenge. Catch and cook challenge. What we're gonna do is, basically we're not taking any food out there with us. Uh, we are going to take water because we do not want. So to we're taking what, like five hydrated. things? Tent, yeah, maybe like water, five, five things. A pole, mm -hmm. tackle, and a knife. And knife, knife well, machete, and like a little like thing to make fire with. But other than that, that's what we're taking, and we're going to go out there. We're going to stay all the way overnight at the farm and survive. Knows, yeah, we're basically just surviving out there. So if we don't catch a bass, we're screwed. I mean, we're not taking a gun. Mm -mm. So I mean, there's no shooting unless we can trap. Yeah, we might be able to trap something. Trapping, so. But y'all, let us know in the comments if you want to see that. I'm pretty excited about mm -hmm. it. 
Cause we're I mean, gonna do it either way, but I mean, cause I want to do it. And yeah, to too. but I mean, it's gonna we're gonna be taking the catch and cook thing and making it like a reality. I guess you said exactly. like if we don't catch and cook this item, then we're not gonna survive that exactly. day. It's, we're gonna be starving and low of energy. But let us know if y'all want to see that. Even though Brandon said we're not we're doing it anyway, cause mm -hmm. we want to do it. Yeah. But and that's what this entire YouTube thing's about is just having fun. So so yeah. we'll hope y'all have fun with us, but. Let's sit here and watch these. Man, look at this one. It is floated. Mm -hmm. We put it all the way out there. It is floated all the way to here. Because that weight's so big, guys. Mm -hmm. Look at the distance between them now. I don't remember. I can cut back to the first one, but from there to there, it's crazy. We got another car coming. Hopefully, we don't get hit by this one. But we'll catch y'all whenever we're leaving or we got a guard. So, see y'all then. So, um, not going to lie. It's not looking like it's going to happen tonight. Uh, which is still all right. You know, me and Trace out here, we had a blast. You know, we sat out here, looked at music, looked at the stars. And honestly, just them bobbers, they just look so cool in the dark. I didn't think they were going to work that well, but they do. Trust me. And y'all will be seeing in the future us going night fishing for some catfish in some pretty good spot because I'm pretty sure we can catch some catfish, you know. But anyway, um, if you liked it, you know, leave a thumbs up, a comment, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, y'all, you know, let us know if y'all want to see us come back to the bridge and see if we can't get another go at, you know, the, uh, the gar. Um, I'm going, I'm going to butt in right here, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, by the way, if y'all can't see me too, it's really hard to film yeah. without a third person at night. We just can't get an angle. So y'all are just looking at Brandon. Yeah. He can just sit over there and just chill. But make sure that y'all follow us on Instagram, BT Outdoors 8. Follow us on Snapchat, BT Outdoors 8. I mean, it's all the same thing. And, I mean, yeah. you'll see footage of us sitting out here chilling. Oh, yeah. I mean, you'll see. There's what, some funny stuff on there, too. Really funny lie. stuff. There's a, you know, there's a, a this side of BT Outdoors, and there's that side. You know what I'm saying? There's some and, stuff we can't oh, yeah. put on YouTube. Yeah, on there. Like pictures of deer and stuff like that that are dead, you know, let's be <laughs> honest. Or things of that nature, you know. There's pictures of uh, some hogs that we've shot on there and all kinds of good stuff. But yeah, y'all, um, like I said, you know, tell tell your friends about us, you know. We're starting to get some subscribers now, a little bit of fan base going. And we, we really appreciate it. We do, that. we appreciate it a whole lot because, uh, not, you know, we were honestly going to stop doing YouTube and then we looked and we were like, oh my God, you know, we got 50 subscribers. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, we were talking earlier when, when we didn't know or when we knew all of our subscribers, <laughs> it was kind of cool, you know, we were like, yeah. I mean, we were at work. Stuff. Me and Brandon met at work, yeah. and, like, I was, like, running around the back room trying to find him. I was like, Brandon, Brandon, dude, we hit 10 subs. And yeah. we were like, we were freaking out. Yeah. I mean, it was so much fun. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, I broke something, like, freaking out. I was, like, moving around, and something fell and broke. I mean, we were so excited. But, I mean, we knew every one of them. But yeah. still, guys, it's still I mean. cool, you know, and now we actually – do not know all of you you know and i think that is just awesome because all we do we just come out here have a good time and attempt to get it on video half the stuff we don't because we freak out like when we fishing or something we freak out and set the hook and reel it in and it's a good bass or something you know and we're just like dang we should have got that on video but we're learning like i said this whole thing is a learning process you know hopefully next we're going to be coming for 500 subs but yeah y'all like we said you know check us out on social all the social medias and uh let us know if you want to see more of this and be watching for out for all the other videos because we're coming you know we're we're on the rise I'm trying to do anyway, one a week right now guys yeah so thank you for watching and uh see you guys i got mine in brandon's reeling his up and uh we got something guys no, uh, uh oh oh wait it i think we had a stick guys <laughs> i don't know if y'all could see it down there oh there it is right Y'all can't see anything, dude. It's pitch black. We got a stick. There was something on here. <laughs> we caught something. So technically, it wasn't a fail. We caught a stick. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, it came, it came off. Oh, we're about to take these nasty fish off, dude. Yeah. Oh. Oh,